So we're looking forward to another show at the Getty Theatre coming up, and it's Blood Brothers, one of my favourites, guys. Because you are playing the brothers, right? Yeah. You're yeah. quite similar. In a well, it's only because I was forced to shave. <laughs> <laughs> He's not happy about that. And I yeah. don't have the ability to grow a beard. So. Yeah. So, so I decided to meet him in the middle. Unfortunately, uh, I would have preferred to have a beard, but I've got to play a seven-year-old child at points. Yeah, there might, aren't, there might aren't be a problem there, wouldn't it? Yeah, there aren't many hirsute seven-year-olds walking around. But, uh, now, Blood Brothers is a classic. Um, it's emotional, it's a roller coaster. Yeah. And there's two versions. Which one are you doing, the play or the musical? Which has it working? Do We're doing the play version. Mm -hmm. um, oh, that's good. Yeah, no, it's, it's nice. It's a bit different to the musical. Um, the play was written first and then it was adapted into a musical. Um, so it's I've seen the musical several times and it, I was actually quite shocked when we read the script through for the first time because yeah. I'd never actually watched the pl um, play version myself. Yeah. And yeah, watching, reading through it, it was like, oh, this isn't actually. It's, it follows the main premises and everything, um, but it is slightly different and it's quite gritty. Yeah. yeah. It's like it's like well, Willie Russell wrote real stories um, very much. I mean, there, there's obviously a bit of fancifulness about the story in that it, you know I don't want to give anything away, but it, it's it's quite contrived, but the people that he wrote were very real, mm -hmm. and um, I think that's what kind of took us aback in the play a lot more than the musical is is that obviously in the musical you've got this suspension of disbelief and you've got people walking off to the side and, and, and singing songs and things like this, whereas yeah. whereas this whilst there are little moments aside or there are obviously that you've got the narrator who does talk to the audience, it's it's very much kind of uh, looking at very real people, mm -hmm. um, so that that's kind of the where the, the play, I feel, kind of gets a bit more gritty or a bit more realistic than the musical, I guess. It's probably one of the best bits of drama I, I think people can never see the, mm. in it on a stage, because mm -hmm. if it doesn't move you, it's just, well, you're not, you're not in the right place, are you? Because it's, it's just, I, I'm sure most people have seen it, but I don't give any away. No, 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 no. You should leave the place feeling pretty emotional about the whole thing. Yeah, it, ch it changes very quickly as well, because it, it starts, very light and I mean it starts up quite dark but it's very light and happy and it's mm. it's a laugh a minute you know it, it's, a, it's a laugh a second when you're with these seven-year-olds yeah. and it's so <laughs> playful and fun and the innocence of youth and it changes so quickly you, you know one scene mm. you're, you're there and the next scene it, and it gets it gets very real um, and it's something you know I've been I think we've been quite conscious of for each other is yeah. you know when we are doing the slightly darker stuff, um, especially I think for me and Lorcan with our experiences with it, mental health, because I think in certain cases it's quite topical with that as mm. well, especially from Mickey's point of view. Mm. Um, but it's been important in rehearsals to we we try and bring light to it every time every time we do because I think it's, it's a, there are points where it's an absolutely miserable. It's, it's a roller coaster. Yeah, I mean, and sometimes it's a, well, I think it's always the best theatre when you you're, you're, you're thrown yeah, around a bit, yeah, aren't you? Basically, yeah. with the emotions. And, and say it, say it's miserable. It's, it's not a miserable story. It's selling it well. <laughs> 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 but you know, sometimes people like yeah. watching misery and, and that that kind of gritty realism because you know we can watch TV shows where everything's perfect and everything's polished. Where but but. but a lot of more of the TV shows that we watch, or the, the plays and the theatre that we go to nowadays, are just realism because realism is almost a form of escapism. Um, because what's going on outside is actually probably a lot worse than, <laughs> than there was going on in the show. Now you've got to put on a Scouse accent. It's interesting. You give us a he result? has, I don't. Don't yeah, you? Yeah, no, he's the posh one, so he gets oh, away of course, with yeah, yeah. sounding, uh, sounding. Which has actually Very been quite pages. difficult as well. It was, it's been more difficult than I suspected because as much as I may sound quite well spoken, I'd have, I have some Manx lilts in my voice right there. and yeah, yeah. The, way, the way that I do things <laughs> really? are yeah, or quite southern, whereas it, it's, yeah. it's like a northern posh, posh, so I'll turn around and say love, where it's actually, whereas <laughs> love. It's, it's love. Uh, oh, hello. Say, yeah, it's, and Sarah Holland has been, every time I say something, I get wrong and I'll just go, yeah. ah, it's so frustrating. <laughs> but, it's been shut, but I think. And you, yeah. you got to swap your Irish law there. Before yeah, yeah. I, I think I'm I'm lucky in that. Obviously, living on the Isle of Man, you're surrounded by Scousers as well. Um, and the Manx accent has quite got a quite a kind of a, a, a mm. Liverpudlian mm. twang to it. Um, I've lived here for over twenty years now, so I've, I've kind of picked it up. I picked up the ear of it. I'm, I'm not coming to it completely blind. Uh, so. Okay. It's it's all right. Uh, I'm, I, my uh, one of my co-workers gave me a book on how to learn Scouse, 
so I've been reading through that. Cool. And, uh, well, tell us obviously the gates. What are the dates and what can we do? Booking wise, fourteenth to the sixteenth yeah, of November. November. Yep. Um, Check you down. <laughs> <laughs> you can go back to have your beard. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, fourteenth yeah, of fourteenth of November, which is a Thursday, and we've got a show on the Thursday, Friday um, Saturday evenings, Saturday. and Saturday, Saturday, and Saturday evening. Okay. So it's only four shows, um, but it'd be and uh, age range is it okay for everyone? I can't remember the language is it okay, is it or is it uh, is it a gritty? I can't remember. No? I think it, yeah, I think it's fine for all ages. Um, mm -hmm. It it is gritty. Maybe 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 put a twelve on it. Yeah, maybe a, a twelve with adults. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I think what is that, is that, that word mean? Is that yeah. come off me? Is it? What is it? <laughs> some pretty twelve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. PG twelve or whatever it is. Well, you can bring your, if you bring your mum, you're allowed to come on. See, you can't stop these two. <laughs> it's going to be great. I'm sure it's one of the best best things that uh, you can see in the theatre. And bring a hanky, but uh, for laughter and tears. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, I mean, if you, right. it depends yeah. if you like us or not. I mean, yeah. either bring a party popper or a hanky or a smile.